This man claims to be a time traveler, and that he is from the year 2030. That would seem to be enough, but that's not all. He also claims to have recently met himself, arriving from the year 2070. Two men, each claiming to be a man named Noah Novak, are interviewed together to prove their veracity. One of the interviewees insists that the man sitting opposite, also Noah Novak, he says, provided information that convinced him that they were in fact the same person. We don't know what that information is, as it is classified and cannot be disclosed to avoid government prosecution. It looks quite plausible. Noah from 2030 said, he's given a lot of personal information, told me a lot of things about what I've done in my life. He knows the entire sequence of events that have happened to me since I traveled back from 2017. He has told details that were simply impossible to make up. To know all of this about me, you would have to have been around for a lifetime. It's absolutely obvious that he couldn't have learned all this in any other way. After all, you can't assume that he was just stalking me from birth and watching my every move. As for these characters having information about the future, Noah from 2070 states that the world is about to change in a most drastic way. He recalls, The streets were completely car-free. I mean, there were no cars at all, and the streets were one big pavement with people walking on it. Lots of people. I looked above and saw that cars appeared to be flying overhead. It looked incredible. You could go crazy. So many cars were in the air. We look forward to seeing if these predictions become a reality. For now, the story of these time travelers looks very dubious. Meanwhile, archaeologists excavating a burial site dating back some 5,000 years in Siberia, on the shores of Lake Baikal, were shocked by a discovery found in the eye socket of one of the skeletons. About why this mysterious artifact so amazed researchers we told on our channel, watch it at the link below in the attached comment.